An elephant was enjoying a leisurely dip in a jungle pool when a rat came up to the pool and insisted that the elephant get out. The elephant replied, "No, I won't. I'm enjoying myself, and I refuse to be disturbed." The rat said, "I insist you get out this minute." Why? inquired the elephant. I shall tell you that only after you are out of the pool," responded the rat. "Then I won't get out," said the elephant. But he eventually gave in, lumbered out of the pool, and stood before the rat. Then he said, "Now tell me why did you want me to get out of the pool?" The rat answered, "To check." If you were wearing my swimming trunks, I have taken this story from the Song of the Birds by Father Anthony de Mello, a well-known Jesuit priest from India. Father de Mello concludes this story by reminding us that it is infinitely easier for an elephant to get into the trunks of a rat than God to fit. Into our scholarly notions of him, and isn't it true? As human beings, we think we know most things, but in reality, we know very little. We believe we understand everything, but little do we realize that most things are beyond our understanding. We are surrounded by the mysteries of life. Where did we come from? Life after death. And why do natural disasters happen? There are many questions we are unable to find the answer to. And in today's gospel, Jesus affirms similar things to the disciples. He says, "I still have many things to say to you." But there would be too much for you now. As we approach the sixth week of Easter tide, we prepare to welcome the Holy Spirit into our lives, to accompany us on our journey every day of our lives. Let us open our hearts and minds to the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen.